Police aren't the only ones who have no idea why a man would open fire on firefighters responding to a call to put out a truck in flames. His neighbors don't know either. He was like a recluse. No one ever saw him. The only time my neighbor saw him was when he was cutting his lawn. The incident started before 6 Monday morning. When firefighters got to the scene, the shooting started. Firefighter paramedic Ryan Hummert was shot and killed as he jumped off the fire truck. Officials say he was new to the department and well-liked. Ryan was one of our best and truly took his job to heart. He was proud to be a firefighter and paramedic. Words cannot begin to express the emotions and pain we are feeling right now. Police then showed up at the scene. Neighbors say it was scary. And I overheard cops saying, where'd those shots come from? And then I heard them say, there's a barrel, uh, possibly a barrel of a gun pointing from that window. Two officers were hurt. One has been treated and released. Another is still in the hospital, but he's expected to be okay. As for the gunman, officials aren't sure what happened to him. A police spokeswoman says police are searching the burned out home where the shooter was holed up, looking for his remains or any evidence that's left after the fire. The house caught fire hours after the standoff started. Police say no one left while the house burned down. Meanwhile, people in the town are already paying tribute to the fallen firefighter, dropping off flowers at City Hall where the flag was lowered to half staff. The station where he worked, draped in purple and black bunting. Judy Boisha, The Associated Press.